Health experts have raised alarm over the increase in use of cannabis and other drug-related substances. They say 80% of patients in Nigerian hospitals are being treated for substance abuse. These psychiatrists insist the National Assembly Bill on the leg Legislation of Cannabis is a misplaced priority. He wants the federal government to put up measures to mitigate the undesirable use of cannabis before such bill can be considered. Other experts called on the government to declare a state of emergency on drug abuse and take the fight against it the same way it is tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. In order to drive home the topic, an essay writing and debate competition with the topic Legalization of Cannabis, a Blessing or a Curse was organized for students of secondary schools. This is to get the young, vulnerable world into standing against drug abuse. It was a gathering of resident doctors at the neuropsychiatric hospital Arrow Abelkata. A major talking point here is the high rate of drug abuse. Significantly, a lot of people are in, they have actually uh, they are indulged in substance use generally. So the percentage of those who are into substance use has risen so so much that in fact we are we are talking of something that is in the range of 50 percent of the population. When we talk of lifetime use. Uh, so it is it's important for us to look at it as an emergency so that every, every hand must be on deck to address this very problem that we have in the country. Now, these psychiatrists insisted that the National Assembly Bill on the legalization of cannabis is a misplaced priority. He urged the federal government to put up measures to mitigate the undesirable use of cannabis before such bill can be considered. Also, I acknowledge the fact that there is some economic benefit for it. When you look at both the advantage and disadvantage of it, the merit and merit. for us right now, we're not right for it. As a psychiatrist, a lot of over 80% of my patients' problems that have mental health problems are being compounded or worsened with cannabis use. And in most of the medicinal aspects of cannabis, it's to ameliorate, to help in the treatment, not really to cure that ailment. So what are we talking about? Whereas cannabis itself destroys the life of our youth. Other experts called on the government to declare a state of emergency on drug abuse and take the fight against it the same way they're tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. Is this the main issue confronting this nation called Nigeria as of today? We have massive unemployment of our youths decaying infrastructure. Our doctors are leaving this country in hoax. And nobody is concerned about that. We're hoping that the federal government, when the mental health bill is signed to law by our Mr. President, most of the problems that we're facing will not have a legal framework, you know, to, sort, to, to solve them. And for those that have psychiatric problems, then they are part of the city, they are part and part of this country. They, 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 they need to be taken care of. So that creates misers in the community. In order to drive home the message, an essay writing and debate competition with the topic legalization of cannabis, a blessing or a curse, was organized for students of secondary skills. This was to get their young, vulnerable world into understanding the war against drug abuse. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.